Hey, darling. Um, I don't know what's going on these weeks. <laughs> but all I know is I need to vacuum again. And she's been holding a space. Thankfully, my therapist started her own private practice again. Or started her own private practice. And she reached out to me this week, which was great. I feel like, oh my gosh. I'm good. I just feel like I have people in my life that are like coming to me with like really heavy shit, like where they're at isn't great right now. And so I'm just like trying to hold space for it. It's a lot of men in my life. Like, like folks are really depressed and struggling with things and Twice in this past week, I have like sat with folks. Um, girl, um, I'll get into it offline. Um, but that being said, uh, I think it's good when folks ask for help. Let's just say that and if they reach out to folks and you don't close yourself off and you still want to have the conversation and so I'm grateful that like folks are wanting to open up um, and hopefully wanting to do more than that too you know um, I had one of my friends say to me I was like, you really need to talk to somebody. And he said, I talked to my cat. <laughs> so that being said, that's that's the real truth right there. Um, well, let's do some yoga, shall we? All right. So go ahead and come down and onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Pull your low back down towards your earth. Go and touch the chin in towards the chest for a quick second, right? Just to check in. Do a thyroid gland. I'm just trying to pop my hips out, don't mind me. And then slowly, or pop my hips in, one of the two. Slowly pull your low back down towards the earth. Allow yourself just to breathe here, a big inhale. And exhale. So always starting off our practice from a space of gratitude. You can take whatever position you want. If you want to keep knees up into your chest, you can. If you want to take happy baby, you have that option. But recognizing an energy that's bigger than us, that we're still collectively a part of. Give gratitude to the earth. She reminds us that we live in a space of abundance rather than a space of scarcity. That we have everything that we need and that we ourselves are more than enough. There we go. Jesus. We give gratitude to indigenous peoples of the lands that we are laying upon the northern Cheyenne and the Crow, the Salish, the Blackfoot, the Lakota. And I was reminding ourselves that land acknowledgement is just the first baby step in us coming into right relationship and doing the right thing. It goes thought, word, and then deed. We have gratitude for this practice of yoga for black and brown people as the original creators and sustainers of this practice. The space of Ahimsa, also known as loving action. We have gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves, to our own ancestors and our own lineage, recognizing there and our trials and triumphs, traumas, tribulations, and transgressions holding ourselves responsible for how we choose to repair and restore from damages that have been done in order to build a peaceful, loving, and liberated world for seven generations and beyond. 
and if there's a person or persons, place or places you'd like to dedicate your practice to this evening or whenever you're watching and tuning in, you can draw them into your mind's eye. Take a nice deep inhale and pull them all the way down into your heart center. And on your exhale, send them up. And slowly flex through your toes. If your knees are bent up into your chest, extend your legs high to the sky. Flex like you're trying to press the ceiling away and curl up through your low belly. You can always take your hands to your belly and just kind of move and massage anything that you might be holding, just checking in. Moving from one side to the other, your belly should be pretty soft in this posture. And then slowly, Put a big bend in your knees and bring yourself into your happy baby. Hold here. Allow yourself just to kind of rock back and forth side to side. And slowly bring the soles of the feet together to touch. Hold on to the outside edges of the feet as you move your knees away from your hips. Pull yourself open. Pull down through your low back. Big inhale. And then exhale, slowly release. Go ahead and take the edges of your feet down to the earth and come into a recline butterfly. Turn your toes out. Let your hips pop open. And then just do little pulses here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one big inhale. Pull yourself up a little bit further. Exhale, pull down through your low belly. Two more, big inhale. And exhale, one more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly lower. Reach your hands out overhead. I think I bring up like the point about, right, two of like, I think two, like three of like my guy friends being in some space right now because I think that the energy is just really high, but it's just, I feel like, but all my female girlfriends are like solid and grounded. Well, most of them. And I feel like guys are kind of in a tizzy right now. So I don't know what that has, what that, if there's something energetically that's going on, but regardless, hands are overhead and you're slowly just popping your low back up and off the mat as you press the soles of the feet high for eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, and one. And slowly let your heel on the left leg float down to the earth. Pull your right leg in towards you without the use of your hands first. So find that extension, pull the leg in, activate the top of your quad, and then walk up your leg. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths. Big inhale. And exhale one more time, big inhale. Aim your chin towards your shin and then exhale at the back of the skull, come down to the earth. You're gonna swap out your legs. Let your right heel come down to float and you're gonna pull your left leg in towards you. Really try to activate the top of your quad. Try to do it without the use of your hands first to start. Fire up through your glutes, keep flexing, pressing, stretching, big inhale. And then walk up the back part of your thigh. Aim your chin towards your shin. Exhale, slowly release. Pull that right leg back up to meet your left. Hands come down to the side. Reverse crunches for eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, and one. Put a bend in your knees. Open your arms up nice and wide, and then you're slowly gonna pull your knees, trying to keep your knees stacked over to the left-hand side of your mat and turn to look out past your right fingertips. Big inhale here. Breathe into your twist, exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly you're gonna turn yourself and your hand's gonna come underneath your head and then you're just gonna pull open through your knees, right? So keep 
here and down for eight, seven, six, five, for four, for three, for two, and one, hold here. And then pull and pin your knees and take your feet up off the mat. Right, and then you're slowly gonna just do the same thing again, right? But your heels are gonna be floating for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Close it up. Extend your legs so your body's just like in a little V. Right hand is pl planted next to your left bust, and then inhale, lift the leg high, exhale, flex it, and pull the heels down together. Like, essentially, position one in ballet, heels are together, flex through your feet, point the toe up, exhale, flex it down. For eight, seven, six, five, for four, for three, for two, and one, hold it high. Big inhale, maybe you bind your big toe with your finger, lift high, pull the leg in towards you, and slowly release it, and you're gonna drop inside arch of your foot down towards the earth, and then use the strength of the leg to pick it up high, and then you're gonna take it back behind you, and then lift it high again, bring it forward. Lift it high, drop it back, two more. Lift it high, bring it forward. Lift it high, drop it back. Lift it high, bring it forward one more time. Lift it high, drop it back. And then you're slowly gonna swing and just stack your foot over the top of your other foot and then little small circles here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then back the opposite way for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, leg high, roll yourself back down to your low back and sacrum, leg is lifted, and then slowly, Lift that opposite leg up to meet it. Kind of bend in your knees and drag knees, tops of your femur bones down towards the earth. Rock back and forth across your spine. And then slowly release. Take your arms out to the side again. You're gonna do the same thing on that opposite side. So stack your knees over to the right hand side this time. Let's go and turn myself around. So hanging out uh, here, turn and look out past your left fingertips. Big inhale. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. And slowly pull yourself up. You're gonna rock, plant your left palm next to your right bust. Right hand can come underneath you. And then just clamshell with your knees. We open and close for eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, and one. And then float the heels and same thing again, lift and lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower. Extend the legs. You're gonna point that toe high to the sky. Lift, catch the upper part of your quad, the upper part of your hip again. And then flex and lower. Inhale up, exhale down for eight, seven, six, five, four, for three, for two and one lift it high big inhale drop the inside well try to lift it a little bit higher that's right pull it in towards you 
fire it through the backside of your glute, top of your quad, and then slowly lift or drop the inside arch of the foot down to the earth. Let that leg burn a little bit, and then inhale up. Exhale, drop it back behind you, so point the toes. Inhale, lift, exhale, flex and drop it forward. Inhale, lift, exhale, drop. Inhale up, exhale back, three more. Inhale high, exhale forward. Inhale high, drop it back, two more. Inhale up, exhale forward. Inhale up, drop it back. Inhale high, last one. Exhale forward, inhale high, drop it back, and then swing that leg over. Hold here, little baby circles for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then take it back the opposite way for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift it high. Lay the back of your skull back down. Roll yourself onto your low back and then opposite leg pulls up. Check in with the length of your legs. Scooch and move around if you need to. Put a big bend in your knees as you grab for your toes. Bring yourself back into your happy baby. Slowly pull the knees back together to touch. Hands come down to your sides, fingertips, raise the back sides of your heels. Press your hips high to the sky and roll your shoulder blades underneath you. Interlock your fingers and pull down through your fists. Hold here. Exhale, slowly release. And then take soles of the feet high to the sky. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale, one more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Take the soles of the feet down to the earth. Release your hands from underneath you. You can always cuff your glutes if you need to or want to. Just kind of massage out through your wrists. Right, get your wrists to kind of crack out. And then outside edges of your feet come down again. You're still kind of laying on your arms and wrists. If that's way too much for your elbows, arms and wrists, just take them out from underneath you. Shift back and forth side to side through your glutes. And slowly lift through your hips, bring yourself down. Take one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Big inhale here. Exhale. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, pull the inside of the thighs together to touch, flex through the legs, or the toes, and send the legs down to the end of the mat. The toes swap out to the side. You can keep one hand at heart, one hand at belly. Allow yourself just to breathe here. A nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Two more big breaths, big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. One more time, big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Card for you coming into the week or whenever you tune into this wigwam or movement. Wigwam comes from the Mi'kmaq word, wakun, which is the semi-permanent dwelling that would typically be put together by women and could be built in one day. A wigwam often consists of five spruce poles lashed together with spruce at the top and the pole is extended into a cone shape, similar to a teepee, but utilizing birch rather than the animal skins or canvas. The word teepee was never used by Mi'kmaq people since that word comes from different indigenous people and cultures. 
Traditionally, wigwams were painted with the figures of animals and birds, and the floors were lined in woven mats and furs, and the top flap was left open for wood smoke to escape. Its purpose was deeply connected to the change in season, to a time when people relied more heavily on their surroundings for survival. It was a home that could be moved from location to location. The spring and the summer would be spent near the coastline, and the fall and winter inland. Because birch bark is waterproof and potable or portable, it can be used, reused, and carried to the next de destination and symbolize the lesson to live gently and only take what you need through life, along with a deep reverence for the land and its resources. Since this is your card today, there might be a call to move to a different location, start a new job, or change something approach, some approach to life. There is a reminder to be resourceful now or with the opportunities presented, and there may be a need to rely on others for support. It can be a time of great abundance. You have all the resources you need, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. You're safe in the choices that you make and any major shifts taking place in your life are beneficial. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, the divine mother me sees, honors, and reflects. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love. And you, dear Jane, and anyone tuning in collectively in all of us. Thank you all for sharing your practice and for trusting me with your bodies, hearts, spirits, and souls. And when you do leave this space, be sure to go in peace and remember to serve love always. Thanks so much, y'all. Uh, I'll see you all online very soon. Peace and love.